We are currently in the midst of the second quantum revolution, where scientists around the world are figuring out how to harness the fundamental weirdness of quantum mechanics to generate revolutionary new technologies such as quantum computing, offering an exponential increase in computing power, quantum communications, which can offer completely unhackable and secure communication channels, and quantum sensing, which can allow uh, new ways to interrogate and measure the world around us with unprecedented, unprecedented accuracy and precision. Now, in order to enable these technologies, we need a new range of, of quantum hardware components. Now, in our group here at the University of Technology, Sydney, uh, we specialize in single photon sources. Uh, so these are quantum sources which emit a single particle of light or a photon at a time. Um, and with these sources, we are able to generate, um, encode, and um, distribute quantum information. Uh, one, one of the um, systems which our group works with a lot is called uh, white graphene or hexagonal boron nitride. Now this is a, a two-dimensional material and defects within this material are crystal imperfections such as a missing atom or an impurity introduced into the lattice um, can act as a, a source of single photons. Um, and so one of the things that's been hindering progress in, in utilizing HPN for scalable uh, quantum technologies is our lack of knowledge about the defect itself. Um, what is the structure and, and nature of this defect emitting these sing, uh, single light particles? Um, and so in order uh, to interrogate this, um, it, it's really a very difficult problem to determine what exactly is the structure of defects in these uh, types of solid state materials. Um, so in order to do this, we collaborated with groups uh, all across the world, from the US to Europe, um, to right here in Australia, um, at Australian National University. And we were able to, um, we were able to introduce selectively uh, defects into the material, specifically carbon atoms, um, which can be integrated uh, into HBN during the growth process or introduced after growth. And in both cases, we were able to definitively link the incorporation of these carbon atoms um, to the observation of single photon emission. Um, thereby proving for the first time that these single photon sources in HPN are, are carbon-based defects. And so this is really important as it allows us um, to uh, reliably fabricate uh, and will accelerate the, the progress um, of research in, uh, within this field. Um, excitingly, we were also able uh, to discover and demonstrate for the first time at room temperature that these HPN defects um, host spin or, or spin-carrying defects. Um, and so this is a fundamental quantum mechanical property of, of particles and uh, the ability to manip uh, manipulate the spin allows for a lot of applications in quantum sensing um, and uh, other uh, emerging quantum technologies. So, so we believe in, and we trust that uh, our new research um, will accelerate um, the investigation of HBN as, this, as a source of um, quantum single photon emission um, and our further understanding of this defect responsible for this emission um, will allow for the integration um, into developing technologies. It, if you're interested in reading more about our work, please uh, please check out the paper uh, at the Nature Materials website. And